Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Sorry about the lighting. I have my ring light, but for some reason it's still just really dark in here. Anyway, so today I have my haul for going to the Goodwill outlet this last Saturday, which was two days ago. I spent, um, let's see, it was 90, no, it was $89 and like 13 cents. So I got, I believe it was 58 pounds. I have three huge bags full and I got some pretty good items, nothing like the uh, Gucci shoes that I got the week before, that's for sure. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and jump on into this haul and show y'all what I found this week. So I did only get like a few pairs of shoes because I got so many pairs last week. I figured I needed to be more picky with the ones this week. And so I went ahead, I got these because they were in just perfect condition. These are Borns and they're like a wedge. Literally, they're practically perfect. They have like a tiny bit of wear on the bottom, but seriously, that's like it. So these will probably go for between 35 and $40. Some more shoes that I got were, basically got these because I don't get kids stuff very often, um, but I only got these because they are actually saltwater sandals. And that was one of the first things I saw. So if you look, in the first part, the first bin that I go to in my thrift with me video at the Goodwill outlet, you will actually see these in the first bin. See, it says salt water right there and they're pretty in silver and they are size 12. <clears throat> and I think this is the last pair of shoes that I got. Um, I don't usually get this kind, um, but these were just really, interesting and I just love the color. I love that it has kind of a platform feel to it and they are BKE um, which is from the buckle and that's a pretty good brand. It looks like somebody had bought them from the Deseret Industries which is what we call the DI here in Utah for eight bucks and they decided not to keep them I'm guessing. <laughs> so they ended up at the Goodwill and the bins. Anyway I thought they were kind of cute and they're in really good condition. And so I went ahead and grabbed those. They are having a little bit of glitter coming off of them. I am not a fan of glitter, y'all. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad that I don't have a bunch of girls because if I did, I would be going crazy. All right, so next item we have is a pair of Rockin' Republic. I think they're women's jeans. Let me go ahead and check on the size because they are a size 12. So they are a woman's size 12. They are in perfect condition. I found, I think there's a second pair. Yeah, I found them right next to each other. So these are probably a size 12 also. Yep, these are also a size 12. Big difference between the two is these have embellishment on the back pocket, which looks like an R for Rock and Republic. Kind of cute. Next item is a long Hillary Radley dress. And it's just striped, more striped up here, little stripes down here. It's just a very comfy, very stretchy cotton kind of dress. I thought that would be a really good casual dress. Next is a dress and I've, I said no to quite a few skirts and dresses while I was there because they're just really not selling that much. But if it's something that's just really good condition like this one that I'm about to show you and it's a good brand, then I'll get it anyway because this is not gonna last forever y'all, it's just not. You know, things will kind of get back to normal. I don't know if they will ever get back to the way that they were, probably not, I'm thinking but people will wear dresses again, they will wear skirts again, and they will need to buy them. So things that aren't um, styles that are going to be super trendy and going kind of out super fast, um, I'm grabbing more of the classic kind of looks. That way, if they take the next year to sell, that's okay because they're just sitting in a bin, they're not costing me money by sitting there, and they will sell because they're classic. So anyway, that being said, <laughs> um, this one is a size two petite Banana Republic, kind of a chambray style midi. And it has 
a tie around the waist and it has pockets and a little v-neck and it's just a line and everything and it's just absolutely beautiful if it was my size i would keep it because it's just so classic and that's kind of how this next one is too it's a very casual classic kind it's not like a high-end uh, brand by any means but it's listicle and it's a medium it's a baby doll kind of dress with a little cuff on the sleeves front pocket but it's definitely a comfy kind of thing um, this next one I mainly got because eventually it will sell because it's so nice um, it's White House black market it is a size zero it doesn't have straps. It looks like it um, originally had a little strap that you can attach to it, but it is a um, strapless black dress and it has the grippy kind of rubber stuff on the inside and it's just beautiful. Probably cost close to like 60, 75 bucks brand new. Um, this is one of the needs to be washed. None of this has been washed yet. Older one, it's called New Frontier. It's like a cowgirl kind of style, which really reminded me of, um, oh, that color change is crazy, right? Um, like the 90s, the rayon, like full length maxi skirts that would button all the way down the front and then you'd wear like a t-shirt with it. That was really big back then. And that's kind of how this is. It's a maxi length. And it has buttons all the way down. It's navy, could probably use a slip underneath it, but this may actually look really good with like some cowgirl boots and maybe like an oversized sweater or something. If it fits me, I may just try it out for one week for a Sunday, just cause, hey, you know, it's always good having a revolving closet, right? <laughs> all right. so. Next one, these aren't a very high-end brand, honestly. It's just uh, supplies, but I mainly got these because they're kind of high-waisted, kind of cargo, and they are um, camouflage. So I thought because of that, they would probably sell. Um, this next one, I mainly picked these up because they are Derek Lamb which I haven't gotten the chance to sell yet. It seems like it sells for a good amount, but they are like um, more of a business casual sort of uh, board short. And I thought that was really interesting. They're not hemmed or anything. That's just how they are. And they're really cute. Pockets in the front are like this, instead of at an angle. I thought that was a really neat kind of detail. And here's some other pants. And I'm not sure if I should have gotten these or not, to be honest, but I only did because they are um, J. Crew, and they're the toothpick, size 26. And I know the toothpick ones seem to sell a little bit better from what I've seen anyway. They're just all white, no stains or anything. They're totally perfect, which is amazing coming out of the bins. White was nothing wrong with them, right? I mean, that's just crazy because the bins are dirty, y'all. Really dirty, but I have five boys, so whatever. <laughs> get home and take a shower right when I get home and then I'm good. So there's a black pair, exactly the same, size 26, J. Crew toothpick. Only difference is this one has some zipper detailing. Other than that, that's it. And they are very, very soft. Also, they do have the zipper detailing on the bottom back of the legs. Then there's one more item in this bag. I was on the fence for this one just because it's a lighter item, won't sell for a whole lot, and it's not the right season, but it was just so cute. It's Old Navy, size medium but it's just this really fluttery kind of rayon palm tree sort of top. And I just, I couldn't leave it. It's just so pretty. Okay, so next 
I got this and I need to wash it. I haven't washed it because I needed to have it right here for when I did my video. Sorry, my head's like super itchy because of the dry weather. That's just an unfortunate thing. Um, let's see, I didn't realize there was a tag, but there it is, Minky Couture, which actually is a high-end like throw blanket kind of brand for our area. Um, if you drive down the freeway going towards Salt Lake from where I live, you will always see um, ads on the Jumbotron things that are on the side of the freeway. Um, and Minky Couture is a big one. I know when I looked them up to see if I could get one because I've heard so much about them, how soft they are. Um, I saw how much they cost and I was just like, oh, pff, uh -uh. I'm just going to go to Costco and get like a $15 throw. I mean, seriously. I am not that bougie. I have five boys. I really can't be. So, all right, next item. I got this for my son. You probably, excuse me, <laughs> you probably saw it in my video. Instead of Jaws, which they've all seen, it's Paws. So there's a kitty looking like a shark and there's a little mouse on top of the water. He has a thing for funny t-shirts. So I grabbed that for him. And then I also got him this um, Under Armour t-shirt because he loves this kind of stuff. He doesn't like jeans or anything stiff. He really has issues with those kind of materials. They make him uncomfortable, so. And then I also found him some Batman pajama pants, which really need to be washed. And then these pajama pants boy looks out because he comes with me. They have a thing for Super Mario. I have gaming boys. And then these next pair are just some sweatpants that I got for myself. Old Navy. Just gray, jogger kind. And then these ones for one of my boys also. They're just some jogger pants. Sorry if it's loud. They're doing the landscaping outside my building. Okay, and then this, which is totally covered in fuzz and stuff. It's a, uh, it's a apron for the kitchen, which I've been needing to get. Sorry, I'm gonna put these specific things over in a pile to wash, because they're just straight up nasty. All right, next item is a loft denim skirt, perfect condition, and it's a size 16. One of the main reasons I got it, because it's a larger size, and I do really good on those sizes, especially like 2 and 3X and stuff lately. This next item I picked up just mainly because it's 100% linen. Um, stuff that's 100% linen usually does pretty good. So even though it's not that time of year, I will still get it just because of that. And it's from John Partridge. And it's this lime green linen maxi skirt. And then it has these really cool pockets that go like at a crazy angle. So it's like, here, let me reach around and grab my own bum or something, right? I don't know. <laughs> That's just weird. Or the person in front of you, your husband can come up and go. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's funny. Anyway, oh, and it has this little cinching part on the hem down at the bottom too. That's kind of neat. And then the next item is one that I might be keeping myself because it's so soft. It's uh, sleepwear kind of stuff. It's Gilligan and O'Malley, which is a Target kind of thing. And it's just this cowl neck top. Has these bell kind of sleeves. And then we've got some boot cut Levi's 567s. They are a size 30, 32 in men's. And they are not the kind that has spandex. So they are very structured. So they may actually work for a woman. Sorry, my phone died, so I had to plug it in. So anyway, um, 
let's finish up with the rest of the haul. So the next piece is a pair of men's Levi Strauss and they are 567 size 30 32. They are the great high-waisted structured jeans. Then we have a women's express cocoon style short sleeve cardigan that's knit. And then we have, um, I don't normally get a lot of Old Navy. This one was really cute though. It's an extra small sleeveless little kind of shift dress and it does have pockets in the front. It's partly linen. And then we've got this vintage head, um, pleated skirt. Does have some pilling on the front that I'll have to take care of, um, but I mainly grabbed this because of the whole academia trend that seems to be going on right now. All right, and then we have an extra large American Eagle linen blend romper and it does have ties which I'm assuming can go in the front or the back depending on the person's taste and we have some polo jeans these are a size I can't find they're high-waisted. I think they're like a 29. Oh, I found it. They're a 32 and men's. And they are a relaxed fit, which would be great for women's. That's where a lot of women end up finding their structured jeans that people are buying right now is in the men's section because you can find that kind of stuff easier. And this is one that still has the tags on it. It's a cross front dress with pockets, still has the tag on it, it's new with tag. Um, it's from DR2, has tie waist. And then we have some women's bright orange Duluth stretchy cargo shorts. This vintage um, 90s dress, it's by Jody made in the USA, has these little cap kind of sleeves, polka dot, cute little pleating, and then micro dots on the bottom, and it's a v-neck in the front and in the back. It's so cute. Looks like it used to have a belt. It no longer has a belt, but have, finding a thin white belt to go with that would be so easy. This one is a purple, like plum colored loft skirt, cotton with the little eyelet designs. That one's going in my thread up bag that I am working on right now, working on getting up to the 30 pounds to send it in. Next is a new with tag American Eagle men's knit sweater. Um, doesn't say how much it retailed for. It's a size medium. And it's just a plain black. Has the buttons on the collar. And we have this really charming, I don't get Christopher and Banks very often, but some stuff is just cute like this. It's kind of an Aztec-y kind of design. Pretty cardigan. And then we have a Marvel t-shirt I got for my husband. He really likes the Punisher. What guy doesn't, honestly? Okay, and we have a very basic, I think this is American Eagle. Yes. Dark, kind of a brick red. American Eagle Outfitters. Really thick hooded zip up sweatshirt. Oh no, half zip. It's a half zip and it's got a kangaroo pocket. Let's check the pockets. Oh, they're empty. Darn it. <laughs> All right, next is Open. some men's just regular pants. They're new with tag, Old Navy, 
3332s. They're just straight below waist, below waist, straight fit, straight leg. Sorry, little man's being noisy. And it looks like they retailed for $34.50. They're just like this dark brown, dusty kind of color. I'm almost done. And the next piece that I have, see over there, is a men's North Face plaid shorts. They are a size 34 regular. Stay over there. I'm almost done. Okay, buddy. Mommy's almost done. Okay. Can you go sit over there until I'm done, sweetie? I know. I'm almost done. Okay. Off you go. You gonna sit right there? Yes. All right, so my little man's joining in on the video. He promised to be nice and quiet, huh? Nice and quiet. Next is a pair of women's Columbia shorts, which will be going in my pile of stuff to list right before spring. Then we have a women's chaps knit cardigan, kind of a heathered look. Looks really comfortable. I might try it myself. You never have too many good cardigans. Back. And this one, I think it might be older, but I'm not positive. It's um, textured chenille, uh, Dockers, new with tag, men's sweater. And it retailed for $54. We are almost done. These ones I'll probably send into thread up because by the time they end up processing them, it's gonna be about that time for shorts, honestly. Anyway, these are from Lane Bryant and they are a size 24. And they are like a very um, casual business kind of shorts. Next is a jacket. If I can get it. It's a half zip or three quarter zip it looks like. My son looked this one up. It's from Victorinox. It says it has Gore-Tex in it. It's a size small. It's a men's jacket. It has all these different pockets. Um, it has this symbol on it. So I'm assuming it has to do with medic kind of stuff. I'll be looking it up to see what I can find out on that one. And then next we have some very small American Eagle jeans. These are size two. They are definitely a skinny. These don't have a label on them. However, they were extremely cute and they look like they are completely linen except for down at the bottom where they have this silky kind of cuff with this embellishment. And so I figured I'd grab these anyway, because I also like kind of the button detail on the front. Then I have a really cute pillowcase, which would work for anybody who likes white and their decor. Doesn't work for me because boys do not mix with white, um, but it's just a, king size I believe queen or king size pillow sham it's really pretty and it still has the tag thing on it um, second to last if you watched my thrift with me video you saw me find this in the bottom of a bin it's a lululemon which I don't find very often I think people wear their lululemon completely out here or they try and sell it on marketplace and it's just a basic tank um, I'm not sure what size it is. Thank you, bug. Let's see if I can find the Lulu tag in the bottom. I'm not seeing it because I'm not good at that. All right, silly. And last but not least, this item, um, it's like an ongoing joke in my house that I, the day before I go to the bins, I come up with an idea of something that I want to find. About 80% of the time I end up finding it. So I had two different ideas. I can't remember what my other one was, but one of them was 
you know, what if I could find something that I could hang on my door, like the shoe organizer that has pockets to put your shoes on that you hang on the back of your door, but it's for jewelry because I don't have a jewelry box. I just have a little plastic container thing with three little drawers. Um, I haven't had a jewelry box for quite some time. And so my thought was if I could find something like that, that would be cool. I didn't know if they existed because I hadn't seen one before. So one of the first things I find that you will see in my video, I think, is this. So it's got all these little pockets for jewelry or hair accessories or whatever. And it's just on a hanger. And I thought that was just freaking awesome. So that will be going in my closet, high up in a spot where little people can't reach it. And that is in it. A in a high spot, yes. Spot. So that is it for my haul for this last Saturday. I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed some of the things that I got. I, I will be at least a week before I will be listing any of this stuff. So if you're interested in any of it, please feel free to send me a message so that um, I can make a listing just for you. Anyway, I will talk to y'all in my next video. Love ya. Bye.